Hello, Live View Golfers. We just released the latest version of our app and we've been getting some phone calls on it, so we decided to go ahead and do a video about it. Now, even though the user interface looks a lot different, with the exception of two new features, it's designed to work pretty much the same way that the old version did. We still have our drawing tools in the top right corner, and right underneath that, there's the mirror mode. If you click on our drawing tools, you see that we still have our lines, our circles, and our squares. But you'll notice that the color selection has moved to the bottom left corner, and we now have a much broader range of colors to choose from. Above that, there is a line thickness tool which has been added. Uh, some people have said that they had a hard time seeing the lines uh, on their screens, and so by doing this, you can now change the thickness of your line to be much thicker so that it's more easily visible to your eye. Above that, there's now a tool that you can activate if you want to move an object. Say you just drew it slightly different from where you wanted it. You can just grab it and then move it to a different location. And above that, there is a group move tool. This will become really important when we're starting to work with templates where you can move the entire line set without changing the geometry or the relation of the lines to each other. And in, in addition to that, you also have the ability to use two fingers now to do a pinch where you can actually shrink the object. And then if you want to expand it again, you take the lines and you make it bigger by moving your fingers apart. Going to our playback video library, we still have everything sorted with the latest up on top. And we have a checkbox now which allows you to select multiple videos if you want to delete a batch after having a long recording session. I actually don't want to record any of these right now, so I'm just going to do uncheck that, and then I'm going to select the last video that I did. So this brings us to our most requested and first of our new features, which is to simplify the sharing of recorded videos. Now in order to implement that, we added two new functions. The first one is the trim button, which is the scissors up here. And then below that is the actual share button. Now, if I'm looking at this, this video itself is about 30 seconds in length. And if I look at it, there is only about three seconds of video right here in the swing that I actually want to send to somebody. So the first thing I want to do is I want to trim this down. In order to do that, I'll click on the scissor button. And this gives me a red bar, which allows me to move the in point and the out point, uh, the beginning of the video, that I want to send um, the beginning of the swing and all I have to do is just slide it forward to get to the point where the swing begins. And then when I'm done with that I can go to the end point and grab that and move it right to where I want the swing to stop. And uh, one other thing to take a look at is the numbers up here on the top right this x1.0, x0.5, x0.2, that allows you to slow down your swing when you save it to 50% and even 20% of regular speed. So I'm going to save this at 20% to really slow it down a lot. And then I'm going to hit save. And when I'm done, now I see that this second, this um, three second swing is now 18 seconds long because I slaved, saved it at 20% slow motion. When I'm done with that, I can then select this video and what it does, it'll encode it, make it smaller in size and actually burn in all those lines that we put on top. And now it gives me the ability to share it via email, uh, via Facebook, via Instagram, or just save it to my photo roll. So from here, if I wanted to go look at my photos, 
I have this version of the swing saved from just now with the lines burned in and in slow motion running at 20% of normal speed. And um, I can email it from here to anybody that I want also.